can I really call it a Costco haul? Because we really, I mean, I can't even call this video a haul because we didn't haul anything. We just got a couple of pieces. Okay, so this week's grocery haul is a little different just simply because it's Thanksgiving week. Um, we really didn't buy too much this week because my mom and dad cooks a full course meal and his mom cooks a full course meal. So we eat twice in one day. Yes, we do. <sighs> I know his brother always say, oh, the hard life is such a hard life to live. It's very tiring to go to two houses in one day, especially when Maddie was born. <sighs> oh my gosh. Talk about running on like no sleep with like a newborn or even a one-year-old, a two-year-old and just always tired. And then you have to like do one parent's house another parent's house and then come home and yeah but you know we're not complaining because we are very blessed and we know that there's many people who wish they could have their loved ones with them on the holidays you know our our soldiers you know um people who've lost family you know they might have lost your mother or your your sibling or something you know so yes it's tiring in that sense but when you think about it on the flip side, at least I get to spend another Thanksgiving, another Christmas with my mother, with my grandparents, with, you know, the people I love. It's not. So anyways, let me get into this haul. It's going to be really quick. It's going to be a little different. Camera might be a little shaky because I'm holding with my arm, which is already getting tired. But like I said, this is kind of more of a specialty Aldi grocery haul um, slash... Can I really call it a Costco haul? Because we really, I mean, I can't even call this video a haul because we didn't haul anything. We just got a couple of pieces. So I'm just show you what we got. Oh, and real quick, if you're new to my channel, thanks for visiting. And I hope that you love what I'm doing and that you'll subscribe, of course. Please subscribe. And if you are a subby already, thanks so much. And let's get to this video, okay? Okay. Disclaimer, you guys are going to hear noise in the background. My dishwasher is going. I wasn't even thinking about recording this week. Like I said, just because this really isn't like a haul haul. But I just want to show you guys like some of the items we got, which is kind of out of what we normally get. So I'm just going to throw my bags on the floor. Take this stuff out. Um, Aldi, we did spend basically we spent fifty dollars. I think the total came out to like forty eight dollars and twelve cents or something like that. Um, we do have a lot. Of, I won't say a lot, but we do have some of our basic necessities to kind of get us through the week. Like we have um, two packs of chicken, well actually one pack of chicken, chicken breasts, and that can be divided into two meals, which will most likely be from Monday and Tuesday. Um, and we just kind of had some things on hand from this prior week, so we don't really need to go into next week. And that's my screaming daughter, y'all. Okay. Is that all we need? Hello? <laughs> yeah. I should have gave you guys another disclaimer. Um, you will hear my daughter and my husband playing. The canola oil. Do you know how much the canola oil was? Six ninety nine. Okay, so we got two of these for six ninety nine. Um, if you can, definitely get your oil from Costco or Sam's. It's much cheaper than buying 
um, you know, your other oil. Let me show you here. Like this is from Staters, and I think I paid like three fifty or something like that for this, and that was seven dollars. Now I haven't really broken down per ounce. This is forty eight ounces, and then however many ounces fit into a three quarts, and you guys can kind of do the math on that. So that was from Costco. We got some chi organic chicken wings because we're about to fry some chicken tonight. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't had fried chicken in a while. Okay, I can't get it off the bag for some reason. Okay, so this chicken was a dollar. Oh no, two fifty nine. Sorry, that's two fifty nine a pound, which came out to eleven ninety one. And it's organic chicken party wings. And this is the first time we've got it from Costco, but it's no added hormones, steroids, salt. Minimally processed, no artificial ingredients, no preservatives, no antibiotics. And, yeah, so we're really trying to, you know, do organic chicken, especially for Maddie. Um, you know, we don't want all those added hormones and stuff going into her body. But she will eat her some McDonald's hamburgers or chicken nuggets, but that's beside the point. Uh, tissue paper, I got tissue paper for the business, just simply because this size here 20 inches by 24 inches huge I love using this for shipping out my packages versus um, just the, the store brands like the tissue paper I get from 99 cent store Dollar Tree even Walmart they are small they're very small in comparison to that okay so that was oh oh yeah sorry and one more thing we got from Costco is this coconut oil and I believe this was it was less than $16 it was $15 and some change so we ended up spending I think like 40 $42 at Costco like I said this video is gonna be a little more different a little more raw just because I'm trying to get our trying to get it in but I, I need to get dinner in to get this dinner ready oh this is what we got from Aldi I'm not going to really tell you guys the prices, not unless I remember, just because I don't want to, like, stall on the video. We're already six minutes in. Okay. Um, red seedless grapes. Once again, these were $1.45 a pound. Uh, we got two pounds. I ended up picking up two things of a fresh asparagus just because they were $0.99 cents each. $0.99 cents each. Asparagus normally is, like, $4.99. And sometimes it's like a pound. I'm like, really? And they're normally the thick ones. I don't like the thick stock asparagus. Like, you can tell these are kind of skinny. And I just, ooh, it's not coming in right. There we go. Um, yeah, these are skinny. You can eat them better. So I'm very excited about that being 99 cents for one package. So we got two. I plan on cooking one. And trying to freeze it we never done that with asparagus but because the price was so cheap I was like well let's just try it see how it goes because if we do like the taste of it after we cooked it freeze it and then thawed it out for another meal and it still tastes pretty good then I know this is definitely going to be one of those items I'm gonna stock up on in the future when I see it for 99 cents again okay moving on the lemons were $2.99 once again, staple. That's kind of a staple thing. And y'all know about this. Yes, yes, yes. I got that again. Um, this is something new, something different. How much are the scallops, babe? Well, we think they're four ninety nine. We can't quite remember. But you get sixteen ounces. And yeah, we're gonna probably cook this with like some angel hair pasta or something. Um, the plums, Mike likes those. The pineapple I got from Cardenas, so that was separate. I ended up getting that a couple of days ago. But if you guys don't have a Cardenas or any type of like, I'm gonna just call it like an ethnic grocery store, meaning like an Asian market or a um, Hispanic market. 
you need to check those out because they have a lot of good deals on produce, vegetables, and fruit. This pineapple was three pounds for a dollar. Um, and it's normally very sweet. We got our staple waffles, a dollar ninety-nine, I think. These I think were like ninety-seven cents, ninety-five cents for the links. Maddie's little um, juices, I think eighty-nine cents. This time we got a bag of spinach. I believe this was like a dollar eighty-nine. I'm using that for my smoothies. Um, a bag of blueberries. These were less than two dollars. Okay, and then like, here's a couple, oh, I can't forget this here. This is the Fruit Melody, once again, um, I forgot the price, $1.59, I think. The bacon, 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 bacon. The bacon, I think, was $6.99. It's thick cut, too. And yes, I cannot wait to eat some of this tomorrow morning. Um, I might make pancakes in the morning. You know, it's Thanksgiving week. Why not? Why not just, you know, go all out with eating and having great traditions and being festive and doing all that stuff? Why not? So maybe I'll have Maddie help me make pancakes because that's one of her favorite things to eat in the morning is pancakes. Make Mickey Mouse pancakes and have some thick cut bacon. Oh, can't wait to eat that in the morning. I just don't know. I'm a bacon lover. Okay, so my last two items, once again, are specialty items. This right here, indulgent popcorn mix. It has sea salt, caramel corn, peppermint caramel corn, and snickerdoodle kettle corn. We're about to have movie night right now, so that's why I'm trying to hurry up, make this video so I can cook our dinner and we can get on with our movie night and I can eat some of this popcorn. And look how cute this tin is. Like, it is very sleek and sexy and grown. You know, like, I want to keep this tin. I actually, I would love to have a couple more. And just like, you know, you could put your Christmas ornaments in here. Um, once you, of course, eat all the popcorn and clean it out. You could definitely use it for storage. If you're a crafter, put stuff in it. Like, whatever. Or just throw it away. But try to recycle if you can. Um, so really excited about that. This, I believe, was $7.99. Was it $7.99? I think $7.99. Um, and then this is our last, like, purchase that we ended up literally contemplating. We like wine. Yes, we do. Um, we stopped drinking. I think I already told you all that a long time ago, but we stopped drinking it because I was pregnant and breastfeeding and then just never really got back into it until recently. So now we're just trying different wines, but this is a German wine. Do not ask for me to pronounce it because I do not know how to pronounce this. It's German. It's a Mullard wine. You can get that in there. And it says heat and serve. Now that's what threw me and Mike off. Heat and serve. We're like, wait, what? Okay, this sounds like some type of wine that's going to put hair on your chest. Like, I don't know about this. Um... But as you see here, it says red wine enhanced with cinnamon, clove, orange, and lemon peel. Now, if you know about cinnamon and clove, you know it's kind of a, it's a spice, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we'll see how this is. This is the food, you know, I guess you could pair it with, sorry, I'm not even zooming in on that. Food you could pair it with is gingerbread, cake, cookies, and Stalin, Stolen? I know it's some type of German something, and I'm not exactly sure, but yeah so yeah we're gonna try it it says it's sweet it's from germany if you guys have tried this let me know if you tried this popcorn let me know that you guys like it you enjoy it how was it did you hate it what was your favorite out of the three flavors of the caramel popcorn or of the indulgent popcorn mix i should say because not all of them are caramel yeah just let me know and also if you tried the wine did you like it do you not like it are you german are you in germany let me know. All right, so I am out, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this quick, just kind of raw style video. Um, I probably do very minimal minimal editing just because I want to hurry and get it out there for you guys to see because 
like like I said if you know anything about Aldi you know if something is there during that week it may not be there next week so I want to hurry and get this out because you may want to try to get the um, specially selected popcorn mix um, those base scallops the wine the wine might be there but I'm not 100% sure it may not be there next week so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I will see you guys on the next video. So take care. Have a lovely day, night, weekend, week. Happy holidays to you and your family. Stay safe. No drinking and driving. And we'll talk to you guys. Well, we'll. I'm the only one who talks to you guys. Sometimes Maddie talks to you, but she's not here. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Look. This is what it is. And we're disappointed because there's no divider. It's just one big tin. Like, they didn't even give us a cardboard divider or a plastic divider in threes. So we can just, you know, put it in there. So you basically have to leave it in the packaging or mix it all up together, which I think with these flavors, I don't know if you really want to eat all three popcorns just kind of grabbing it and putting it in your mouth. So that's kind of a bummer. We're kind of disappointed in that. So just a heads up if anybody is, you know, looking forward to purchasing this. This is what it looks like on the inside. So yeah, sorry.